are, Ginger Brave. Black Raisin Cookie, I just love my bed at the inn. I've never slept so well. Glad to hear it. It's been a while since the council started. Yeah, but the longer it goes on, the more complicated it gets. Pure Vanilla Cookie seems weary. Sad to see him in this state, given how happy he was to finally meet his friends. He must have a lot on his plate. Pure Vanilla Cookie always took good care of us. Isn't there anything we could do for him? I'm worried. I'm sure the others are worried too. I'm gonna go and find out what they think. Thank you. 
Avenger Brave. To what do I owe your visit? Just thought I'd take this chance to see you before the Council starts. Ah, uh, the Council. Mark my words, I will not hold back this time. To share our soul jam, outrageous. I will not fall victim to the scheming of this deceitful, clotted cream cookie. I get that. After all, your sword has a special meaning for you. Even more so after what happened. Hmm. What is it you are trying to say? I, um, I only wanted to say that you and Dark Choco Cookie, because of your sword, you know. I am ashamed what you had to witness. Hollyberry Cookie? Are you there? Oh, -ho, come in! Wildberry Cookie and I were in the middle of a game of chess, and I'm so glad that you came. Because I hate to lose. <laughs> the council will begin soon. How are you holding up? Ah, that's right. We have a council to go to. I hope this one ends without a fight. Huh. Mm, console clotted cream cookie keeps making things complicated. Oh, don't even get me started. That cookie's up to something. I'll bet my last barrel of juice on that. Still, not so long ago I met my granddaughter, Princess Cookie. You remember her, right? Someday she will have to lead the Hollyberry Kingdom into the future. And you know what I thought? I don't want her to inherit all these Soul Jam Wars from us. Isn't it our duty to do all in our power so that the future generations can live in peace? <sighs> A difficult choice. Is it not? <laughs> Perhaps a glass of juice before the council session will help me decide. Absolutely not, my lady. You will need a clear head more than ever. Uh, you are just one big walking rule book. Bah! Ah, Ginger Brave. Good morning. Hi. Can I come in? Of course! How could I refuse a visit from one of my dearest friends? Sit down. I have just prepared a fresh pot of tea. Fancy a cup? Thanks! I am glad that you came. You see, there is something I wanted to tell you. What Clotted Cream Cookie said yesterday. Without a doubt, his proposition caught everyone by surprise. But... But I think what he said was not entirely without merit. More than once have I seen the closest of friends become bitter enemies due to a greed for greater power. When power is in disbalance, it can only bring bitter jealousy and hatred. The power I am speaking of is our soul jam. So you want to do as Clotted Cream Cookie says? I have not decided yet. But it is time everyone heard the truth. At today's council, I will have to make an important confession. Welcome to the third council meeting, my friends. I sincerely hope that today, we finally come to an accord. If you allow me to begin. Esteemed colleagues, my proposition remains on the table. Have you reconsidered your decisions, if I may ask? There is nothing to reconsider. Under no circumstances will I surrender my soul gem. This little stone has caused far too many tragedies to nonchalantly pass around. He's right. Who else can control such power if not us? With all due respect, it seems like we have a difficult discussion ahead of us. How so? Because my opinion regarding this Soul Jam conundrum also remains unchanged. You! Enough talking! 
If you want this power for yourself, just say it loud and clear. Hmm. Perhaps what I'm going to say next will help you understand my logic. A vision of critical importance, if you will. A fact that showed me what can happen when great power is concentrated in the hands of just a few. What is it you're trying to say? I myself was utterly shocked when I heard this. Terrified, even. Yet, it has only reinforced my conviction in the fact that Soul Jam's potential must be shared with everyone. Just get to the point already. Very well. What if I told you that the cookie who inflicted such horrors upon the cookie world was one of the ancient heroes? Dark Enchantress Cookie, formerly known as White Lily Cookie. What did you just say? Uh, are you... Uh, you... Uh, I don't believe you! This is impossible! But it is true. One of the five craved for more and more power only to become a harbinger of the darkness in the end. Dark Enchantress Cookie desires to rebuild this world in her own image. To that end, she requires the power of Soul Jam. Soul Jam, the receptacle for a noble soul, yes. Yet, regardless, a source of tremendous, concentrated energy. Energy capable of building one kingdom from the ground up, and reducing another to ashes and rubble. But power can corrupt. It spawns greed. Greed leads to arrogance. And arrogance can lead even the wise and noble of us to the bitterest of ends. In the shadows of great power are those coveting it, wishing to challenge its owners. Can you keep your power safe indefinitely? This is why it is critical that our Krim Republic, uncorrupted by power, takes the lead of this campaign. This is why there is no other option but to share your soul jam. The more power is grasped, the more it slips away. You are not holding your ground against the chaos. Your stubbornness will be sowing its seeds. Wars, cruel conflicts born out of desire for power. All such grief is born from those that crave strength, those who desire to challenge the balance. The histories of your kingdom serve as perfect examples of this tragic pattern. Lastly, permit me to remind you that Dark Enchantress Cookie herself started the Dark Flower War because of her obsession with the power of your soul jam. Once called a noble, ancient hero, even she was unable to restrain her own greed. Shut your poisonous mouth this instant! Stop! Out of my way! I will not allow you to pass. Listen to the voice of reason! Reason? How dare you! Another proof to my point. I see you are no different from Dark Enchantress, Cookie. Unwilling to part with your precious power. Ugh. I can't open my eyes! This shockwave! I can barely move! Such an overwhelming energy wave, caused by the collision of Soul Jam. To witness it firsthand. Dark Cacao Cookie, come to your senses! Let me go! I will end this arrogant whelp! I said no! Did you forget that we swore to put an end to the Cookie's fighting? To friends fighting! And you, Clotted Cream Cookie, you cross the line! 
How can you sully the names of cookies sworn to protect others with their lives? Why lie about a noble hero to prove your point? I found it hard to believe myself. Yet it is the sad truth. Am I right, pure vanilla cookie? You knew it all along, did you not? I beg for your forgiveness, my dearest friends. I... I should have told you sooner. <coughs> I told you that the two others refused to come. But I was dishonest. White Lily Cookie is not coming because... She is Dark Enchantress Cookie. I planned to tell you the truth, I did. Yet, I could not muster the courage to tell you. How could this be? What this cookie says is right. Soul Jam is too dangerous in our hands alone. I... I could not do anything to prevent this tragedy, even though I was the only one who could. White Lily Cookie desired strength to achieve her goals. Now I understand it was inevitable that she became Dark Enchantress Cookie. There are many ways to protect what is dear to us. Sometimes, when one's own efforts are not enough, it is only natural to ask for help. But White Lily Cookie, she believed that only through more power could she change the course of fate. As she went on, she desired more and more. But too much power can only bring sorrow and suffering. I am so sorry, my friends. I did not want you to learn the truth this way. I am truly sorry. So... he was telling the truth? White Lily Cookie is indeed Dark Enchantress Cookie. But... how did it happen? That remains a mystery, even for me. I only know she tried to uncover the secret of the Cookie's origin. And there, something terrible happened. I can't believe I heard about this from a complete stranger. You... you are just like White Lily Cookie, you know that? You always said how important our friendship was. But all this time, you kept us in the dark. Of all cookies, Dark Cacao Cookie and I were the last to know. Perhaps... Since the very beginning, you never thought of us as your peers. I see no more reason to remain here. Fighting together requires trust. Despite the rebuilding of this kingdom, I see that trust still remains in ruins. No, there is nothing and no one to trust here. I... need some time to think. Dark Cacao Cookie! Hollyberry Cookie! They left! Oh no! Is this... is this the end? <sighs> I... I... Never meant to sow discord between old friends. I am... sorry. No, at some point, we would have had this discussion anyway. I will go talk to each of them. As you said, we are old friends after all. I wish you success. If you allow me to be frank, I did not expect your agreement. But I am glad that you see my point. Yes. I always thought that strength is meant to be shared equally. But you must understand. These cookies have been doing the impossible to protect their kingdoms and earthbred for a long, long time. Do not belittle all the good they have done. Your comments before, they hurt. I admit, I might have crossed the line. Please accept my apologies. But 
What happens now? Will the two heroes return? I will try to convince them to rejoin the Council. Our talks must continue if we wish to save our world. Thank you. I trust in your diplomatic abilities. Barkeep! A glass of juice! The usual? Yes. Y you know what? No! Make it extra strong. The stronger, the better! Right away. One glass of berry juice, extra strong and sweet. Thanks. Now, can you finish that story from before? The one where you fought a dragon? Right. <laughs> the story. I'm sorry, friend. I'm not in my best mood today. Oh, what's wrong? Is something bothering you? Maybe I can help. Yes, well... There were cookies whom I considered my old friends. But now... I don't even know what to think. We used to do everything together. We were always honest with each other. Ugh, I feel like such an old fool. Hardships? Ah, uh, there were none we couldn't overcome. And at the end of the day, we laughed, we drank, we feasted. How did we let this happen? You know, life was hard back at the village. We didn't have enough jellies, we were always sick, and waffle bots were always lurking around. But we never gave up, because we had each other. With friends by my side, I could endure anything, no matter how hard it was. The restored vanilla kingdom may have a long way ahead, but we're helping each other out and building our home together, little by little. If you ask me, this is the best place on Earth, Bread. How's everyone doing? I'll do all the dishes today. Yeah. I'll start with this plate, all right? Black Raisin Cookie, be careful! Don't smash anything this time! He's right. Black Raisin Cookie's eagerness sometimes does more harm than help. Hey, don't worry. I'm not going to smash anything this time. Just trust me, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna go fluff the pillows. With so many guests, they get dusty too fast. Then I will wipe the floor. I'm gonna make it shine like glass. You'll see. So, what do you think? Pretty neat, yeah? <sighs> Those cookies help each other out with even the smallest of tasks. We too used to think in unison and look toward the future together. When did we lose our unity? When in doubt or in trouble, we used to share our deepest hopes and fears. After all, that's what friends are for. That's right. We must talk. I need to go and find Dark Cacao Cookie. Dark Cacao Cookie, are you here? What is going on here? The soldiers are packing for departure. Hmm? Why are you here? Tell me what's going on here. His Majesty ordered us to start packing. We're riding back to the Dark Cacao Kingdom. What? Show me where he is. His Majesty is in his tent. Dark Cacao Cookie, what are you doing? We are going back. The Kingdom is in Caramel Arrow Cookie's good hands. But even so... I cannot afford to leave the throne vacant for so long. I do not wish to waste any more time with this laughable mockery of a debate. Wait! The three of us must talk, don't you think? Besides, we haven't decided what to do yet. Time is of the essence, now more than ever. Our forces must reach the continent of Beast Yeast before it is too late. This is why I must return to the Dark Cacao Kingdom and begin preparing the troops at once. Stop! Don't storm off like that. We still have some time. Think how hard it was for us three to reunite. 
Do not hold me back. My soldiers are ready to depart this instant. Don't you remember? We used to share all our troubles and burdens and find solutions together. Have you forgotten our friendship? Our bond that used to be so strong, time or distance could never break it. We... Dark Cacao Cookie. Hollyberry Cookie. There you are. Pure Vanilla Cookie? I'm sorry I'm late. I... I came because I wanted to explain everything. Will you... talk with me? I owe you an apology. Please, forgive me for not telling you the truth about what happened to White Lily Cookie. I just... I couldn't find the right words. And it was too important to write in a letter. I was so angry at you back at the Council. But it must have been tough for you. Besides, it was you who sacrificed himself to stop Dark Enchantress Cookie and end the war. Ugh, I can't even begin to imagine how hard it was for you to find out the truth. But know this. From now on, I will always stand by your side. No matter what happens, I shall protect you. I will never hold back anything from you anymore, I promise. One thing is certain. We must stop Dark Enchantress Cookie. As the old friends of the cookie she once used to be. Yet we are not the only ones who can stop her. Countless cookies from all across the land have suffered because of her evil. They wish to rise and fight against the evil that is threatening their families and friends. If we could share our strength with them, if this strength could prevent their sacrifices, wouldn't that be enough? Think of all those Vanillians who had to flee from the war. Think of all the Hollybarians who witnessed their beloved palace crumbling down. Think of all the many names inscribed onto the altar of the fallen. All those precious lives that could have been saved, that could be saved. Well, you might not like what I'm going to say, but... I think we, too, are responsible for Dark Enchantress Cookie's return. Remember how everything was in shambles when the Dark Flower War ended? Remember how we went on separate paths? We didn't do anything to prevent her return! We are responsible, and very much so. But to give our soul jam away! You know too well how dangerous it might be, do you not? We all fought in a war started because of it. How can we simply give it away when the waters of the Licorice Sea have never been as restless? The warriors of Dark Cacao don't have to fight with their swords only. We will only see more sacrifices if we keep this path. None of the kingdoms can put an end to the shadow hanging over us alone. We need a new perspective, my friend. But how can this clotted cream cookie be trusted? How can we be sure that our soul jam is safe in his hands? Times have changed. We have changed. There are good and just cookies in all corners of the world. Cookies who took me in when I was in my darkest place. Cookies who help me remember who I am. Cookies who protect their dearest no matter the cost. Cookies who are fighting evil as we speak. I believe in them. I believe in good. Tyranny will never prevail in this world. And there are those who have all that is needed to become heroes, just like us. I understand. But this isn't something that can be decided so easily. I must think it over once again. <sighs> Will you join the Council tomorrow? 
Let us all think it over and reach the final decision tomorrow. And no matter what happens, let us respect each other's decision. Well said. Dark Cacao Cookie, are you with us? Very well. Good. Then tomorrow is the day. <laughs> Talking with you, my friends, reminded me of the days when we traveled the world in search of adventure together. Remember how we used to talk sitting by the campfire? Those were the days, eh? <laughs> <laughs>